Hello. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> so I'll give it a few minutes and make sure that I see. Yep. Okay. I see myself in the group. Um, if you can let me know if you can hear me and see me okay, uh, then I can get started. So we are, I, my name is Terry, and we're in the Decupage and Mixed Media Inspiration Group. Hi, Linda. Linda, can you hear me okay? Just want to make sure before I get started. So hi, Agnieszka, how are you? Good to see you. Okay, so I will go ahead and... Um, switch my camera and I'll put up a thank you. Thank you, Linda. I will go ahead and put up a link right now. If uh, you're looking for any of the products that I use today, you can find a retailer near you. Um, and I will put up the website where you can go and find a retailer. I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera over and show you what I have in store for you today. Alrighty. Okay, so today I am going to do um, a little bit of decoupage. I have an A3 paper here, um, and this is from the Kalambor line, and um, the number's DGR233, but I'll make sure to put uh, all the product description and numbers um, in the description box later. So what I plan on doing is, hi, Denise. Um, I actually have my phone on so I can see comments, but what's happening is you're coming up as Facebook user. So, and it's actually you, Denise. So if, I don't know if you've given, ever given um, StreamYard access. Um, and it, StreamYard doesn't post on um your page or anything. It just gives StreamYard access to let me know, let me see your name. Um, because right now it just says Facebook user. So anyhow, I bought this little stool. It's so cute um, from Hobby Lobby. And I thought what I would do is I really like this top half. I like it all, but obviously I can't put the whole thing on there. So I'm going to put this top half on. And then what I thought I would do I've already lined it off um, with some tape. I'm thinking I'll bring down, do the lines like this here on the sides. And I'm going to use the Pentart um, decor paint, the chalk paint. And um, I don't know, I might just do one solid color or I might blend it a little if possible because you see how it goes the gradient is darker obviously up here and it gets lighter um but we'll probably keep it fairly simple i do have some transfers that i might put on there i don't know we'll see how time goes um but right now i'll go ahead and prime this because i do want to make it um white so that way you can see um, the paper better on top of it. So I'm just going to use the, we'll go that way, Pentart Acrylic Primer in white. And I think this is a new, yeah, it is, because I just went through my other one. I have, because the tool sits, the tool, the stool sits high, my camera is really high, so it's, it's odd for me. <laughs> I usually don't have it up so high. So I just want to make sure you guys can see everything. And I'm actually going to use, ooh, shouldn't have did that, should I? A big furniture brush so you're not sitting here all day watching me paint. Now, there is some imperfections on the stool, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I actually like it. Um, you know, wood is like, that's just the natural characters of, of wood. So 
I'm not worried about it. I did sand down um, like the notches here where, um, you know, they did the connection to the bottom here. So, but. That's all I did. I didn't do anything else. I didn't cover or, you know, there's a couple of splits, tiny splits in the wood. I didn't worry about e worry about that either. So. Hi, Jess. Thank you. So how was everybody's weekend going so far? you're able to have some nice relaxing days off hopefully I don't know if you work the weekend but you know some of the kids in the US at least are, have started back to school I know both of my boys have um, my youngest actually just started back university just this last week um, my oldest actually went back, I think last week was his second full week. So kind of getting back in to a school routine, trying to at least. Okay. And easy enough. All right. So I will actually drop the stool down just for a second so that way I can prep the decoupage paper because I'm going to take that white border off. Oh, the beginning of that's what I think. Um, I've heard that from uh Samantha too, Sammy, Samantha Thompson. That's UK starts in September. Hi, Moika. You know, I remember um, school for us used to start in September as well. But it seems like as the years have gone, it's getting earlier and earlier for some reason. Okay, I'm just going to take a water pen and um, use it just to take off the white border. So I'm just going to go around here. Wet it. And then I will use a ruler just to pull, pull off the edges here. So what did you, today you're off, but you're working tomorrow. Oh, okay. What are you working on, Agnieszka? I know you're always working on something beautiful. I've seen a couple of your boxes. Is it jewelry boxes or just keepsake boxes so beautiful that you've been posting in the group but then again you're always posting beautiful pieces are you working on anything right now on your day off okay and i won't worry about going all the way down because i know it just goes down to about the cherub and then that's it so don't need to be so picky I'm gonna sand off sand off that side but anyways Christmas project we were I was just talking about this um I'm getting I am ready. I think I am ready to start Christmas projects. <laughs> I've been having the itch. I've gotten a couple of papers, um, Christmas papers, and I'm I'm excited. I was saying yesterday that I I have a goal to do some baubles this year because I have so many that it's actually a little bit out of control and every size too so i have a little sander here i'm just gonna change it so that way 
I can get off the edges here from the paper when we put it on. But yeah, I said, okay, this year I have to do some of these bubbles. I've got to get them out of my storage closet. <laughs> and it feels like it's still a little damp, so I'll just dry it just a little. But yes, um, Jessica, who is on here, uh, Matter of Crafts, she's been posting some really beautiful uh, Christmas projects, and I've been seeing other projects getting, and I'm, I'm getting the itch. Okay. And I've really only done one Halloween, so <laughs> project, but I don't know if I'm going to do anymore. I think I'm going to go straight to Christmas. I have a lot of baubles, but still I will do some more this year. Yeah, you know, and I don't know if you do the same thing, Agnieszka, but when, you know, you you don't just buy one bauble, right? You, <laughs> they come in a pack of, you know, 10, 15, sometimes more. So you end up with just a ton of them. Okay, I am actually going to use the... Pint art the decoupage varnish and glue the mat to put the paper down. And I, I'm going to have to stand up actually because I can't really see it all. And then I like using this little tool to help push it down because I only put on, um, you know, a bit at a time. I don't. the glue all at one time. I put down a little piece at a time. And I'm not really worried about um, the white over the edge there because I prob I'm going to go around the trim with um, the, the paint as well that I'm going to use on this side. So... Make sure straight. And this is just a little squeegee that has felt on this end. Um, so it doesn't damage the paper and I really like it. It makes helps me make sure that it's all adhered well. I'm going to milk Halloween for as long as possible. <laughs> So, Denise, does that mean you have some Halloween projects that you're working on? Probably could have used a bigger brush, but that's okay. I don't have a lot to do. No. And I'll get this bottom half. Sand up the rest. Okay. Make sure the edges are down. I'll probably have to make sure the edges around the top are down because I don't want that to lift. Uh, there we go. Yes, it does. I like your 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 vibe. Your project that you put up, your first project was absolutely amazing, Denise. But yeah, I like Halloween. I like doing the project. That's probably really the only time that I do, like, you know, a lot of like the bo uh, skulls and bones. But I haven't really done a whole lot this year. I'm just going to make sure the top half up here is down.
because I know I didn't put enough up there because I can't see it. Okay. I'm going to sand off this edge here and then I'll go over all of it with another. Did I get the... Just go ahead and put another layer of the varnish on top just to protect anything. I was also thinking, depending on how time goes, I might put crackle on here as well. You guys know I have a thing for crackle. <laughs> But it's always good to put another layer on top just to protect it. If you are going to put some color on or anything else, um, you know, protect the paper. It is rice paper after all. So and depending on if I do, if I'm going to do crackle on it, then, you know, I will, after the crackle, I will also put another, like, varnish down on top of the crackle as well. That's just a buildup of the glue, so. It'll dry transparent, but. All right, so we'll let that dry. Make sure my edges are down. And then... Flip it up on its side and do a little bit of the paint on the sides. I'll dry it just a little bit, just in case I catch the edges. But I really like, I don't know if you've used the Pentart, um, the chalk paint, but I really like this line. I like it a lot. It's very opaque and it's easy to use. Like some um, chalk paints, they're really thick and stiff. Um, this one isn't like that. I like, I like it. See, I'm thinking if I put some crackle on the top, I and then grunge it up a little. Not grunge it. <laughs> I'm reading Denise's comments still. Um, do some antiquing on it. I think it'll look good. And I wanted, I didn't want to paint the whole thing. I like the wood. So that's why I'll blend in a couple of the lines and then, um, you know, do the trim around here with the, with the paint. Okay, I think that'll be good enough. I actually was standing up that whole time, which is weird. I usually don't stand and craft. I might have to stand again. Okay, so I did put the painter's tape down, and I put a layer of clear gesso um, on the tape just to make sure that it doesn't seep underneath. Because I'm not painting it, I'm leaving the natural wood. Um, I'd like to avoid that if I can. <laughs> because then I would end up having to paint it. So this particular color is the darker one, and this one, oh man, my eyes, turquoise green. I don't know. Last time I was at the eye doctor, she was, <laughs> you know, it's about that time where you're going to need 
bifocals. And I went, oh, no, 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 no. It's like, no, 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 no. So I'm actually going to stand up and see how smooth this paint is. It's really nice. Working with uh, tape is tricky. The best option is to remove as soon as you paint it. Oh, yeah. That's why I put the um, the clear gesso. So, whoa. So that way um, it doesn't seep underneath. Okay, so I'm actually going to... See how it looks. If I don't like it, then I can always where did I put it? And I'm just gonna spray my actually that was that sponge took a little bit too much water. So I'm gonna squeeze it out. I probably can actually use that sponge to dry. Maybe. Now, if I don't mix up the colors, it'll be good. That's okay. I knew what you were saying. <laughs> no worries. I do it all the time. I knew what you were talking about, Agnieszka. <laughs> Because it is wood, it's, you know, obviously the, it's going, soaking it up right up, but. So I'm going to have to put a little more on and then blend it up. Hi, Sammy. How are you? Sam, your outfits are looking so amazing. And I hope you are having an amazing time. You did such a good job pulling those together. Can you guys even see? Sorry about that. Can you even see the bottom?
sure you think I need that spine. I think it's making it look a little streaky. The sponge is. I got it. Grabbing paint. And this little um, stool had a sticker on there that said the weight capacity was 200 pounds. I thought, wow, that's, that's a lot for this little stool. Oh, I'm glad you're having so much fun. Got so many things in my hands right now. It's a little bit crazy. <laughs> Let's see if that gesso helped any. Because if it didn't, I'll end up having to paint the whole side this color, which isn't a bad thing either, but yay. Isn't that satisfying? <laughs> go can we have them all there we go is that okay So if I can get the other side, now we'll go over to this side. But you know what? It was drying pretty quickly, but my luck, I'll put it down and <laughs> it will be dry. Try this just a little bit. But if you can tell, see, so with the top and then the sides, I thought it would be cute like that. Let's try it a little bit. Like I said, the because it's the wood, it's absorbing it fairly quickly, so. And then what I'll do at the end um, is I'll go ahead and put the finishing wax over everything. Okay, should be good over and we'll do the same thing on this side I don't know. Did I give you guys the name of the lighter one? The lighter one was pistachio. Yeah, pistachio. So turquoise, green, and pistachio.
Is anybody else doing any crafts today? working on I don't know if um, you've checked but uh, the retailers some of your retailers will also be um, we're also stocking AB studios paper um, scrapbooking paper rice paper uh, mitt form um, some of, I don't know if you've used any of the, uh, is it Minnie's? I think it's Minnie's napkins. Minnie's tear resistant tissue, but it's, it's like a decoupage paper as well. So there's some new stuff. Yeah, <laughs> so much to do. No. I'm excited to start doing fall stuff. Um, I have some lanterns that I've gotten that I want to do. Oops, I stuck that in the wrong thing. And like I said, of course, Christmas, but this time of the year is always fun. I'm just ready for it to cool off. I don't think everyone in the world is ready for it to cool off. Well, almost everyone. I'm ready for some fall weather. Oh, wow, really? A craft show where, Denise? Yes, AB Studios has beautiful papers. I actually have a few. Um, well, I just got a few new ones. Oh, my goodness. Very pretty. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, my mailman came and, you know, dogs got to go crazy. Sorry. In Virginia Beach, I do eight each year for the, holy moly, how cool. Now, I'm assuming you, are you selling your art there, Denise? That is awesome. And are, are you doing it alone? Is it like a booth that you have alone? You know, that's a lot to do. Craft shows, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Please don't wish my summer away. <laughs> I don't wish summer away. I just wish the the triple digit weather away. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm wishing the hundred plus to just, I mean, a little, just calm down a little. <laughs> yep, Jess, he sure is. He's letting the whole neighborhood know somebody's somebody's at the door. <laughs> It's funny because it, we have Jack, and he's a little shih tzu, and the neighbors have two little little guys, too. Or they're actually gals. And um, it's so funny because they have what, you know, I said the little dog syndrome. They, they go crazy, and you can hear it. So it's Jack and, and them, and they're just, yep, you know when the mailman's coming. You know, when Amazon's coming, anybody, UPS. Actually, I need to go higher with that color, don't I? 
the ants. It's why my Etsy is never up to date. I can't even keep enough pieces. I can't create fast enough. <laughs> yes, my wife helps me do the setup. I have a 10 by 20 tent. And yes, it's... Oh, oh I, I, can't, I can't even imagine. I, I know um, just seeing how much is there, you know, that it's got to be a lot of work. And so if you're creating all the pieces and setting up and if there's just the two of you oh my lord but i hope you have an amazing turnout you're doing that and your dt projects my goodness Yay! Upside down. Oh, I like it. <laughs> okay, now I'm not going to be too crafty with the edges up here. I'm not going to try to blend that. That could be a scary thing. <laughs> but I am going to go around the... Thank you. I'm going to just go around it here and blend the rice paper in. And then also it'll meet up with the dark stripes down here. Yeah, I've had the little stool and I just thought, okay, I want to do it. And I've wanted to do it, you know, on a live, but I kept thinking, God, it's so high. I'm going to need to figure out how to get the camera up high enough so everybody can see. So if you can see, there's like a little box right here, and I put a little piece of fabric over it. So funny, I stole my son's Capri Sun box. <laughs> I'm just trying to be aware of the stool not hitting it because it will knock it down. But yeah. So, but it was tall enough, it works. <laughs> I just dipped it in the wrong color, thankfully, it's a lighter color. Yeah. All right, Terry, what are you doing? You get too crafty there and not my hair my hand up in the air trying to do something straight it's not gonna work right i thought it was <laughs> i said okay i need something tall enough and like nothing i had here at my desk like any of my little shelvings well there's all, all kinds of stuff on them anyways but God, I need something tall enough. And I walked into the kitchen and I seen the box and I thought, well, if I stand it up on its end, I bet you that'll work. And sure enough, and it happened to be a full box, which, you know, I needed because obviously an empty one would just topple over. So, okay, Troy, I'm going to borrow this for a minute. I promise I'll return it. <laughs> I won't drink any. And I won't paint it. <laughs> Sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. Go 
Hi, Nunu. I know, Jess, I, I love the color. I love this color. I think I was saying this this the other day. Anytime I buy new paint, it's always a combination of like this color, blue. Um, it's bad. You know, some are, oh, every shade of brown. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this color. Mine is every shade of turquoise. But my favorite color is purple. So it, I'm just I'm just strange, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I don't because if you're front on you have the stripes on this side own it be you if you like what you yeah you know and I, sometimes i feel like oh man i need to change colors i'm using the same colors all the time but it's true you know if that's i mean if you don't personally like it you don't have to use that color you can use you know whatever color but i i don't know and i think you know sometimes i go through phases and but I always come da back to this color. I don't know what it is. I'm thinking I might do, let's see, the fronts of these because when you're front on, you don't see anything. I might use pur purple too much now. I, I don't think so. I think you're pretty good about using a combination of colors. Like you can do, you'll do like the earthy, you can do the bright, you could do the dark. You're pretty good about using whatever colors. Yeah, see, I, you know what? I need to close up this little, the light one. Keep almost sticking the brush in there. Uh, my favorite trend in regards to color is apparently purple and orange. Really? Purple and orange. That's really good right now for Halloween. Purple and orange will fit everywhere, but purple and orange, I see. I, I would... I can't remember the last time I've used like orange as like my main color. I, that's what I would want to try to get better at is using, going out and using more colors that, you know, aren't the norm for me, like orange or yellow, or, you know, I don't use red a lot. Of course, Christmas is coming. I mean, I might have like hints of red or whatnot, but I think I was looking for an orange last night and I couldn't find a good, like, true orange. I didn't have one in my collection. Just finish up these two sides and then I think we are good. You said I will put down the finishing wax um, just to seal it all. Uh. 
I actually had to go feed and check it out. I actually had to go to my feed and oh. Oh, you didn't even realize it. Okay. So it was just a color that you were gravita uh, gravitating towards and you didn't realize it. Okay. Yeah, see. But that it was it came it was natural, so that's a good. Like that's what worked. See, and if you know, I mean, other than the size when I was messing around with blending the lighter into the darker, this chalky paint is really good. It's just, you know, one, one layer and it's pretty well covered. You don't have to put, you know, another layer on unless you wanted to, but it's not necessary. I missed my spot over here that I see. There we go. Yeah, I like it. Put my paintbrush in some water. And I will show you properly. So that's the top. And then this. <laughs> I'm trying to get it so I'm straight. There we go. And then the sides. Oh, my God goodness like i said i don't know if i'll do the crackle on top i kind of just i don't know i think i like it just the way it is now um the only other thing that i would do whoa hi sabine oh actually sabine it's terry <clears throat> excuse me Okay, I don't know what happened to my voice just then. Um, I'll show this to you, but oh, actually, I'll, I have a little flat head here. Um, this is just the Pint Art Finishing Wax, and I just love the little, <laughs> the little painter can. <laughs> so it, uh, all I will do is just take a cloth and then just, I'll do a little bit since we're, we still have some time, some on the rag here, and just, you know, just circle it around. And just so if I put anything on it or anything like that, it just will seal it. It's not going to change anything. but And then I'll do it around the, the edge as well that I just painted and the stripes down the side. But I'll do this along all of it. And of course, though, if you do add anything or wanted to add any transfers or anything, like I had said, of course, you want to add the transfers first before you put the finishing wax on. So anyhow... I won't bore you to death with putting the finishing wax on, but I think that is it. I really am pleased with it. I think I'm really, <laughs> what I'm really happy about is when we pulled off the tape that there wasn't anything under there. <laughs> so that is it for me. I hope everyone has a great rest of your weekend. I appreciate you coming over and tuning in. Um, again, if you want to find a retailer um, near you to find any of the papers that I was talking about, um, you know, like I said, AB Studios, the MIT form, um, you can, uh, I will put up the link again just in case. You can check here for a retailer near you. And thank you all again for watching, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend, and hope to see you soon. Bye.